41. That's 17th quick. Tanner Holmes, eighth on lap one. What does he have on lap two? Quick time for Tanner Holmes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here in Jackson, Minnesota at the Jackson Motorplex. Extremely windy here at the uh, Speedway. Wanted to welcome you back here to the channel. Uh, the first night officially with the World of Outlaws in the Shark Racing number 1A, but the second race that we have done together. Man, Tuesday at Husits, great opportunity for me just to get comfortable, work with the team, and just overall get a show underneath our belts. And now being here at Jackson, and when I walked up to this uh, track yesterday, it's like, man, it really almost feels like a mini Knoxville. You know, still good size, not as big, but kind of similar banking in the corners beautiful facility you know a top tier place kind of gives you all that same vibe with just how it's set up so this is going to be the opening night of the atco jackson nationals saturday of this event pays twenty five thousand dollars to win so of course all that money is going to draw a handful of extra cars i think we're going to be in the ballpark range of 35 to 44 tens just wanting to have a solid opening weekend with the outlaws with the shark racing team main thing is you know continue to get comfortable make good progress and try to fix out the Jackson Motorplex. Here in just a little bit, we'll be getting suited up and roll right into engine heat, hot laps, and qualifying. for Tanner Holmes and he goes to the top of the speed charts in the Shark Racing 1T. Well, uh, really good start to the night here at Jackson. If I could really show it, you know, you can't even probably see it, but um, ended up, well, last car's out there right now, but quick time tonight for the uh, Outlaw Show to open up the Jackson Nationals. We were literally like half a tenth off the track record. Racetrack is lightning quick, and we went out about 20th out of 40 cars. Maybe it was a tiny bit greasy at the beginning, just got better and better, and the Shark Racing Boys gave me a hot rod, so I uh, laid down a really, really good lap, super comfortable. Even though this place is a little bit bigger and I'm still trying to catch up on the bigger tracks, just drive the car straight, was able to open up both corners and then kind of get it turned in the center. Car turned really well to the middle and then drive off straight just a little bit lower than I entered. So um, great start to the night, man. Quick time with the uh, with the Outlaws in the 1T. Donnie was second, Kofoid Floyd was third, Geo fourth, and Carson Macedo was fifth. So I'm um, happy with that. Now we're going to have an invert where I think we're going to be rolling off from the third row for a heat race. And we got to try to pass some cars to, uh, you know, gain more points. Nothing fancy there in that 
that heat race, actually got a Christmas gift, was probably gonna go sixth to sixth. Not a lot of moving around, uh, just because the racetrack's so freaking narrow. The bottom was greasy to start the night, and so they're finally working that in. So instead of running through the middle, like where we qualified, you actually are about a you know half a lane or a full one lower. And there's still greasy spots, so you have to be careful to not push in the center. Anyway, you know, didn't get a, a great start. Everyone's fighting so hard getting down the front stretch. Fell back to seventh, then got back to sixth, and then the car that was in fifth, I think, lost an engine, and so that bumped us up. Didn't need to do anything crazy with all of our qualifying points. I think just passing one car should put us close to the dash. Overall, happy with where the 1T is at. It's been, uh, you know, I, I'm glad we just finally got through that heat. I felt stressed out after qualifying. I was so happy with how we did, but, you know, your job's never finished with the Outlaws. You gotta just keep building on that. So I just wanted to make sure we had a good heat race, didn't do anything crazy, fall back, or have, you know, something happen. But um, overall, we'll see where we end up. Hopefully the racetrack here at Jackson can start to widen out because it's just uh, really difficult to pass at the moment. Outside of the front row. Now we'll talk to the driver of car number 1T. He's out of Jacksonville, Oregon. It's Tanner Holmes. Very impressive stuff here for Tanner Holmes. We'll see what he can find in our NOS can. Survey says it is the number two. The entire outside of the front or outside rows have been occupied. And well, Tanner, uh, wow. First night as a World of Outlaws driver here in the 1T. First quick time and now your first dash. You've got to be exceeding expectations so far, right? Yeah, you know, things are going really, really good. Um, it was funny, I kind of joked after qualifying, you know, I mean, I'm just a short track guy from the West Coast, so uh, glad to be here and just glad that these guys at Shark Racing are getting me up to speed. They, uh, they've done it all, they build a good, a great piece. You know, um, try to get through this dash here and keep as much track position. I think the farther we start up front, it's gonna really help. So about to head out now for the dash. Drew a, drew a two, there was a one and a two left and we got the front row. So uh, keeping the night rolling, now hopefully in some open track, get a good start, try to stay up front and um, keep our track position because track position is so key right now. The bottom literally isn't even all the way worked into the berm. It's slimy, it's wide above that and the top is still so crumbly. Uh, so this first corner is gonna be interesting but if we fire off, keep some momentum, see what happens and figure out if we can stay up there and make it work or need to get down low and kind of get in the train. check off another box on our night in the shark racing number one T started outside pull there actually got the jump uh, led the first lap and I don't know if it was lap two or three but Donnie snuck around the outside of me bottom has been so good all night and I just felt like man maybe I should stay down there until I feel pressure hear someone from my outside and by the time I heard the 15 car he already ripped around kind of right through the slick but also you know did catch the grip as it was building a little bit higher up after that I kind of moved up that direction as well and kind of tried a couple of different lanes overall my car feels good we are fighting maybe being a little tight on entry and then it's almost like I'm tight and then loose and so it upsets me in the center of the corner but I'm also being careful and thinking that you know I think I also need to slow down in race mode like when you qualify you know there's no one out there to worry about you're super calm you don't turn much but it's easy once you start racing on these bigger tracks or anywhere with wing speed to speed up your arms and then that you know that also throws off the car you got to be so smooth with the front tires uh, to turn 
turn and just let the car kind of, you know, just guide it where you want it. Anyway, ran second there in the dash. We have 25 laps up next. Our job's not finished. The main thing is just run the hardest 25 laps of my life and, um, you know, try to stay up here and be in contention.
series oh, beat your winner. But then this stuff was really good. Good job, guys. And James McFadden now putting on an Oz Energy Drink Victory Lane hat. Chase Rapper to talk to our feature winner. What a great track. You move up there, take his line away. Great and first night, huh? Great first night. Great first night. Great first night. Great first night. Jackson Motor Flex, congrats. That was a lot of fun to watch. Thank you, Smithers. I wish the yellow one that came out because that was just really good. Really that move was so good. On the restart. Yeah. I know, I just didn't get a... Uh, you just missed some spots Well, on the restart before, I just didn't get going good and I got caught in the wrong spot. Good job. Good job. That was good. And I think he is. Third place run to the guys that I've announced. They win for it. I was saying at the top of the from so, so many up on wins and now you're going to win the but I feel like this is almost a win for you. What an incredible performance by Joe. Absolutely. Um, um, starting on the front row, I don't know what to expect. You obviously don't have to drop back and uh, uh, start next to Donnie. He just got going a little bit early. Kind of took me a minute to kind of find my footing. Shane had got by both of us. And I kind of was able to pace him most of it. Got the traffic well, you know, a couple mistakes. But uh, right when the yellow came out there at the end, I felt like I was pretty even. So didn't want to see that. Kind of fell back and then um, was able to get back by the 41. So shark racing guys had me dialed in. And, uh, you know, all night long, we just had so much speed. And just got better and better and more comfortable than ever in the 1A. So uh, really excited for the rest of the weekend. How about it, Jackson? Jones, first night. Well, stellar ending to what uh, I guess almost was a, a perfect night. Not actually with the results, but just the flow of it. Quick time, passed one car in the heat race, drew a two, uh, led a lap in the dash, ran second, started second there in the feature, ran second and third early, fell back to fourth, and then climbed back to the podium. Uh, everything's kind of just hit me now. All night long, I tried to, I don't want to say have too big of a smile, but um, you know, obviously it's a dream come true, running well at an outlaw race, running in the shark racing car. These guys prepare unbelievable equipment. I've talked about how long they've been doing it. Their years of dedication showed tonight as I was able to get in and just go. Their package runs around Jackson very well, and we just, we did everything right. Uh, but it feels good now that the checkered flag has fell, and we were able to complete it and, you know, run well in the feature and not drop back. Early on, it kind of took me a second to move around, but then once I found my stride, I, I wasn't too far behind Donnie and wasn't too far behind the Roth 83, and then that yellow came out, and it sucked because I was just starting to close in on Donnie as he was kind of running the bottom in three and four and I felt like the top was better and I finally made some speed and unfortunately that kind of set me back. I didn't have a great restart. Carson got by. I got back by him on the next one and was able to round out and finish on the podium. Like I said, this is just uh, this is unbelievable. You know, getting the opportunity to run this car, I was just most worried. Like, I want to do so well for these guys. And I wasn't sure, you know, how quick I'd get comfortable and get up to speed, but wanted to jump on the opportunity to work with Bobby Allen and his great crew, Tyler, Blake, and the rest of the Shark Racing guys. And tonight we already got up to speed. So I think if a couple things went different, maybe I'd get a tiny bit better start with just a little more experience. Like, we were good enough to win that race. Uh, you know, just how, you know, just how the cards fell. So, glad to be on the podium with the Outlaws. Well, not even, uh, not even really sure what to say. Almost feel choked up doing this clip. What a dream come true of a, of a night. And just a great way to start our rest of the Outlaw campaign with Shark Racing. You know, everything just clicked. So much speed off the bat. It's important to unload and hot lap well, qualify well. That was really the reason our night went so smoothly. To do that, to get through, keep our nose clean, draw well. I'm repeating the same story, but really awesome to have my first World of Outlaws quick time and podium in the same night. I gotta give a big shout out to Shark Racing, Bobby Allen for this opportunity, uh, Blake and Tyler, my crew guys, and just everyone on the operation. Uh, these guys, as I've said many times, have literally done this. They've put in the years. I think all that showed tonight. I was able to show up here at Jackson, somewhere I'd never been and just uh, the one T was was literally flying. And almost kicked myself a little bit because I think if the race played out a little differently, if I could have got a better start, like I, I think the opportunity to win was there. We were not far off the guys that ended up finishing ahead of us. Our race car was just so good. I could run multiple lanes and be comfortable. To finish things off, I want to thank the team again, Hell's Tire Service, Low E, and C&D Rigging, and the rest of the partners on Shark Racing that helped make these cars go. 
Bobby Allen is uh, great working with him. It's going to be such an awesome rest of 2023, and we just got to keep you know riding this wave of momentum. I know on the Outlaw Tour there is going to be highs and lows, and that's why it's so important to enjoy a, a day like today. And last for you guys as a community, it's uh, it's so cool to have you along with me for this journey. You've truly seen every stage of my racing career and moments when I doubted myself and moments where it felt like I was on top of the world. You've seen my victories, you've seen my my lowest moments. And uh, for everyone that did has stuck around or the new viewers that are just finding like, just, uh, just thank you. Thank you so much. And I would say like the little Tanner watching this would be so proud. So my advice to anyone watching is just to keep pushing for your dreams, kids. It's not an easy road. Anything that is worth achieving is gonna be hard. Not to get too motivational, but I, I don't know. Like it's just, it's just crazy stepping back and just how, just how everything played out today. We're, we're night one with the outlaws, but we're ready to keep pushing. And like I said, just enjoy the journey, ride the wave, a lot's gonna happen, and uh, I'm ready for it. So thanks to all you, thanks to everyone. What a great night racing with the World of Outlaws Sprint Car Series to open up the Jackson Nationals. We're ready for more. Deuces.